In this video, we're going to be using Starling Weekend in Malibu, which you see right there, and the usual suspect for head shaving, the leaf. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDV. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate you. I really do. All right, so today, we're going to try to redeem ourselves from the poor head shave we had using the sebum the last time. So... We went out and we got a tried and true uh, soap, which is the Sterling Weekend in Malibu. I have a sample, but that's what the, the tub looks like. This stuff is priced right. It is an incredible soap for what you pay. If you buy a full tub like that, it's $13.60 for $5, excuse me, it's $13.60 for 5.8 ounces, or on our cost chart right there, $2.34 an ounce, which is exceptional. No. Not $9 an ounce like the sebum, but $2.34 an ounce. Really, really nice soap that I use all the time. I absolutely love the brand. I love the folks, Rod and Mandy. Beautiful people, beautiful products, and now they're roasting coffee too, so go check that out if you please. I'll post the uh, links below. The ingredients on this, we have some good things that I like. Shea butter, lanolin, co coconut milk. I'm already tongue twisted. Not a good sign. We'll put it right there for you. Nice scent on this one too, um, which I'll also put right there for you. And we have citrus, vanilla, sandalwood, and also uh, lily of the valley. Just a little bit of lily of the valley. There's just a slight floral uh, to this, but not so much that, that it would be off-putting to me. I believe Mandy, when we did that interview, and if you haven't seen that uh, Spotlight with Sterling, which I did, I will link it below. Please check that out. It is very good. Most people really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen that, go watch it. I believe Weekend in Malibu was Mandy's favorite, and so we're gonna use it today. The samples that they sell are 350 for a full ounce, and what I do is I try this, I cut a piece off and send it, send the rest of the sample to someone else so they can share in the love of these soaps, and we've got a nice lather whipped up today with our West Coast shaving brush uh, sent to me by Oyve. thank you Oyve. and as you can see there, well, you can't see, but it's very creamy. And it's very nice, and we're just going to have an excellent, pleasant head shave today that is not aggravating, like <laughs> like my last one was with the with the sebum. That shave just left me thoroughly unimpressed, uh, especially for the price. But even if it had been priced like this, I was thoroughly unimpressed. And and I, after the shave, did not feel any miracle, you know, skin stuff happening, <laughs> like you know. I felt my head later. Now, to be fair to the sebum, I used an aftershave and witch hazel and all that. So it probably interferes with whatever the the magical, mystical properties of the sebum might have been. But I did not feel anything special going on on the skin. Uh, other than the only thing I felt special is it felt like that razor was going to grab and skip, which I did not like at all. And I was frustrated throughout that shave, sort of trying to crack the code of that soap. And as I said during that video, I'm not an inexperienced shaver or head shaver. And certainly not inexperienced with the leaf, which I've used a ton of time. So where I started running into trouble was right here. When I did that pass right there with the sebum, the, this part of the razor felt like it was catching on my skin and that is not happening with the sterling here. So <laughs> we're happy about that because nobody wants this razor to be catching and skipping. That is worst case scenario. So we don't want that. And again, I have to say that maybe my poor experience was my lack of familiarity with the SEPA, but overall, I was just not impressed. And I've done this a few times, as you might <laughs> know, and I have used a wide variety of soaps of many, many, many different price ranges. I have bought the most expensive stuff out there. I don't do it anymore, but I used to before I knew better. <laughs> because the more I use, the more I understand, at least for my use case, which is critically important, I would mention, you must know what your use case is. Do you need super skin moisturizing? You're going to have to look for products that do that. Do you look for great scent and a really good shave performance. In other words, it just being slick, um, which is what I look for. I'm not looking for all that skin conditioning personally. Or do, do you have a completely different use case in mind? Um, are you sensitive to certain things? 
you really must take all those into consideration. That's why there's not one soap across the board that's best for the you know majority of people. It, it is a very unique to the individual experience. And so if you are a fan um, of sebum and you think it's the greatest thing ever, it probably is for you, <laughs> but it's not for me. Not for me. Hard pass. Hard pass. I just, I, I struggled with it and uh, I don't really remember in recent years struggling with a product. Um, it was completely unexpected. <laughs> I thought, you know, at least I'm gonna have, you know, um, a slick barrier and I did not expect to have any problems whatsoever. And I just struggled throughout that shave. And I'll link it below if you haven't seen that video. I did not expect that at all. That was a, a really weird experience that <laughs> I don't have very much. And so for me, it's one of those situations where Oftentimes people say, you know, you get what you pay for. And I often say, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's a lot more expensive than need be. But sometimes maybe your use case or maybe it's just flat enjoyable for you. And if it is, then great. You know, I... I I'm not in the business of telling people, unless somebody's ripping people off or the product is just flat bad. And I'm not gonna call this product, the Seepin product bad. It just wasn't good for me. If it just failed to perform on every level, then I would call it bad, but I, I'm not prepared to call it bad. Um, but I would say it did not meet the needs of my use case. And it very well may meet the needs of other use cases because a lot of people buy it. And uh, you must assume that that's working well for a lot of people. I was just someone who didn't work well for me. Why, I do not know. I just don't know. But, you know, that's what we do. We put, put the information out there. I do not claim that my experience is going to be what your, you'll experience. Because, again, your use case, your, your water, your skin, there's all sorts of variables. The way you lather the soap. But what I do is... I pretty much lather the soaps the same, you know, and I use the same process all the time. Now, if I'm having trouble, I will adjust. So I'm not saying that I want to continue to use a failing method, but if throughout my adjustment, it continues not to perform, then at some point, I'm just going to say it's not worth my time because if I have to jump through a bunch of hoops just to get a shaving soap to lather to my liking, I'm just not going to fool with it because there's too many products that that work great. And this Sterling is one of them at $2.34 an ounce. Um, and honestly, I could use Sterling every single day and it wouldn't bother me. I don't because <laughs> my uh, mission and goal here is to show a lot of different products from a lot of different places. I do use it often because it is one of my favorites, so I'm not gonna avoid it. But at the same time, I wanna show a lot of other products as well. But I'm hopeful that when you see these favorites of mine, that, uh, you know, if you've never tried them, maybe check them out and maybe they'll be a favorite of yours. Maybe not, you know, you, you never can tell um, what's going to be a favorite and not, because some people don't care that much for Sterling, but I think it is widely regarded as a very good quality soap for quite a good price. And so um, I think it's worthy of checking out. They have many, many scents. And uh, they don't reformulate on you every time you turn around. Now, there's there's differing thoughts on that. Some people go, oh, Sterling is resting on their loyals. No, they're not, because they're making a lot of different products. Now they're offering coffee. They're, they're constantly doing something new. But at the same time, they have developed a, a soap formula that works very good for a wide variety of people. And they're not inclined to continue to throw a few ingredients in it and market it, you know, as the latest and greatest thing. There's, they're just like, here's what it is. This stuff has been working for years. It still works. And so keep in mind, this formula, although it has changed a few times throughout the customer's history, I'm sure, um, they do not market formula changes. And they've been doing it the same way for quite some time. And I know, again, 
some the the naysayers would jump in and go, ah, they're just resting on their loyal laurels. I don't see it that way. I see it as they're providing you a product at a very reasonable price that works well. To me, when it comes to software, they are hard to beat, at least with uh, shaving soap, and their aftershaves are well well priced as well. And they offer everything. They offer these fantastic samples, best in the business. They offer EDTs. They offer bombs. They offer, I mean, you go to the website and it's staggering the amount of products that they have in this. I'm gonna tell you right now. The residual slickness is here <laughs> on Sterling. I'm having no problems going over these areas without lathering again. And this was a problem for me with uh, with the sebum. I was feeling like consistently that razor is going to get stuck. And then when it moves, it's going to skip. And I'm going to be left with quite a big cut. Because as much as people say the leaf is like a cart, believe me, it does not behave like a cart if you don't do the right things with it. Because it will leave you uh, with some crimson reminder if you don't treat it right and you don't operate it properly. If you sleep, and believe me, I have, you'll know it. But you see here, with the sterling residual slickness, which is really good, no problem, no problem. And I picked this one today in the sample just because I wanted to see how much a difference there might be. <laughs> and it's this one completely presses all the good buttons for me. Cost, great, I like the scent. So this is one I'll get. I want, to, I want to think I've had this one before. And maybe in one of my DIN clearings, I inadvertently got rid of it. I've done that a few times where I just start throwing things in boxes because my, uh, my, the level of soaps that I have are just too, too many. Like, and I have to slim down. I gotta say, that is nice. <laughs> I mean, let's pull a little out of the, and that is slick. So we'll go ahead and feel around for any spots that are left over here. Excellent, excellent. Now this head shave has been enjoyable. And that's always the key for me. I wanna enjoy these head shaves that, you know, and I do, I generally try to do two a week. I don't commit to two every week because I make so many videos as it is. Um, I can't commit to doing a ton more. <laughs> Because I do have other things to do, too. But uh, this is just feeling great. Very, very happy with that. Outstanding job. The blades in here, by the way, Astra SP. Three half DE blades. That was an incredible head shape. Let me rinse the old dome. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, here we are. Back with the magic made by Witches. This is Thayer Switch Hazer. Hazel. I've been doing that a lot. Hazel. <laughs> Excellent shave today and I'm going to tell you something right now. If you are in a crowd of folks in this hobby and they insist that the only way you can get a good and enjoyable shave is to spend exorbitant amounts of money, find a new crowd of people <laughs> because they're not telling you the truth because these products that are affordable work for a wide range of people. Now again, consider your use case. What does your skin need? What type of products are you using or do you enjoy? But I promise you, they will. there will be a product that is affordable, that is out there for you. And Sterling fits the bill for many, including me, one of my favorite brands. We're going to finish off today with uh, Sterling Island Man, which is a nice tropical scent. And it's blue. doesn't smell like the weekend in Malibu, but it doesn't really clash either. So we're just going to enjoy that. That smells outstanding. And that was an outstanding head shape. That's the type of head shape we like to do. Really, really nice, smooth, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, none that I saw anyway. So I hope you all have an excellent uh, day. I wanna thank you very much. Again, we use the leaf, which you see here, two um, or actually three half Astra SP blades, West Coast Shaving Synthetic, and last but not least, of course, Sterling Weekend in Malibu. Thank you again for watching. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, yes, you, do a shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.